Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut for ChatGPT on your either Android device or iPhone. It is very simple. The ChatGPT is amazing. It can compete with Google. It answers any question you ask and accurately and it is just great. So to do that, we're going to go to the URL is chat dot openai.com so we're gonna type that on my device and as you can see it is right here all right so when you go to this website it's gonna ask you to sign up i'm gonna say go because i already signed up so it's gonna just um open my main page but once you go there it's gonna ask you to sign up so you're gonna sign up with your google account and also once you press on your Google account or any email address you want to use it's gonna prompt you to use or uh, to submit your date of birth you know they want to make sure that you are over 18 I believe and once you have that you're gonna have this beautiful screen so chat GPT you know examples you know it shows here you're gonna read and also capabilities this is what the uh, chat GPT is capable of doing you know, remembers what users said earlier in the conversations and etc. And also limitations. So with this, you can ask any question you want, honestly. So once you sign up and you have this page right here, you can add it as a shortcut on your device, either Android or iPhone. So I'm using an iPhone right now. So I'm going to ask a question here. What should I type in? You can also use your voice so, as you can see typing my voice i didn't even like ask the question yet so you can use your voice control and your key keyboard for your iphone so let's go find let's ask the questions what should we say here what's a windows computer and click on chat and over here it's going to give all information about windows pc and also after you get the answer you can ask another question inside the answer and as you can see here for example what should we do it says operating system developed by microsoft and it's a graphic user interface and i can go ahead and ask a question inside the answer so i'm just ask another question so we're gonna go and ask for what is an iphone and you can click and it shows you what's an iphone it gives you all the information everything nicely typed up more detailed so this open ai in other words chat gpt is great for students and also people that do special project and researchers it is great so if you're looking for instant answer and uh, for something for your project or anything else you can come here and uh, go to chat.openai.chatgbt okay and now to create a shortcut as you can see i'm on a browser right now so all i have to go is go to share and from here, I'm going to say add to home screen. And right here, it says news update request. You know, you can you can call it chat GPT if, if you want to. So I'm going to change the name and call it chat GPT. So let me type in. So you can call it any name, any name you want. Over here, I called it chat GPT. And I go ahead and say create. All right, so when I come in here, I already had it on my device and it is right here. So it's been created twice. So this is the chat GPT shortcut for me. So if I close all my application, the browser, for example, when I come back here and I click on chat GPT, it opens up and you get the main screen where you can go ahead and ask your questions here, anything you are looking for. So again, guys, this chat GPT is very, very, very powerful you can learn a lot it is it has a beautiful interface 
and again it's different from google you know google you can ask questions and you get information from a website and display it right on your phone however chat gpt is an open ai so ai means artificial intelligence so you can come in here and you can chat you can talk to the ai and you can get all information you're looking for so if you do a student if you are a student and do some research or anything else you can come to chat gpt and from here you can um, get all answers that you're looking for okay guys this is it i just wanted to show you how to create a shortcut and there is also a siri shortcut where you can replace the siri with um chat gpt so i'm going to come back with that show you more details about it all right so guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell thank you for watching